that's all the drawing I'm going to do. So it's <laughs> actually really easy. Once we start moving up, I can let it go. I don't need to hold it anymore. And that's because this release the electromagnetic brakes. So it let us start moving. But for the brakes, we still need to press those buttons. The cage is the original, was built in 1930. That's the same time. Uh, same year they finished the city hall and this never meant to be a tour this was just a service lift so this was for the workers to be able to go upstairs uh, to the bells fix the clock etc but of course it was the tallest building in the city by then uh, so it was everyone when I was pushing to use the lift to go all the way up so they decided to open it and it became a tour attraction already on late 1930 of course before it wasn't free people had to pay but also people were able to stay up there as long as they want this is the clock everyone so we're going through right now but do not worry we'll stop here on our way down so now we just go up to the platform view again it wasn't it was a service lift so they didn't make it all the way up from here we will need to walk but just one floor just let me take the key let me open the door okay. and follow me too loud. Yeah, they are way too loud to be here, so we will have to get down before they sleep. Thank you. 
I'm not saying so. That's the reason we have to start heading down, everyone. Excuse me. Yeah. There's a hard lot being demolished down there. The what? There's demolition type of place down there. Demolition type of place down there. Yeah. They're demolishing the old primary on the streets there. I'm not sure. They've all, they've all moved out to one William Street now. Oh, right. Yeah, because they have this nice building over there. Okay. Number one, we have exactly yeah. the yeah. What are you saying? Before this demolition commenced, the agricultural minister and his public servants have moved out. Oh, really? Yeah. Moved out. You have more information than I have. <laughs> If you are ready, we can start heading down, no rush. So on the way, on the way down the stairs, don't worry about your hands or be careful with the stairs. That's good. Moving the bells, one on the left for the four small bells, they do the quarters. They do the same song like the Big Ben in England, so you will probably hear that song. And the one on the right is just for the Big Ben, so it chime every hour. So if you are wondering where is the clock then, what's the machine that actually keeps the time, that one is on that corner over there. So it's a really tiny long box, uh, 30 seconds master clock, that's the official name. So that one is the real clock. It's an electric clock, and it always has been an electric clock. This was actually the first electric clock ever built in Australia. So it has been always working exactly the same. For us, it's really a simple electric clock, but back in 1930, this was pretty much high technology. So uh, everything is original. The master clock is original, and the blue machines are original as well. The company who built this clock is called Synchronom, and they are still the ones taking care of the clock today. So it's just still uh, going, that business. So that one controls everything else, pretty much. And that's why we can have the lift in the middle. There is nothing to need to be connected because everything uses electricity. Okay. Saying that, I'm 
I'm going to start heading down, everyone. So um, the bells from the top are, of course, really loud. From here, they are not that bad. They are not as loud as people will think. Uh, but the best place today to hear the bells, of course, is King George Square. Uh, and you will hear the bells everywhere in the city center. Of course, if you go a little bit further, you don't hear them anymore because the buildings block the sound. But they chime every 15 minutes from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So not all day long. And not on the weekends as well. So the reason for before, of course, they were going all day long, every day of the week. At the moment, we have lots of business hotels around us, so they ask us if we can switch them off um, on the weekend at that night. Because if you live next to a clock tower, you probably can sleep through the night, but if you are just here for a couple of days and you're not get used to that, uh, probably it's gonna wake you up every 15 minutes. So we totally understand that. We are back in the museum. Let me just open the door for everyone. Because it was almost the first clock tower of the day. Um, probably you didn't have enough time to go through the gallery exhibition. So please feel free to come back if you want. Please be careful with a little step up. We have one space under construction, so if you are around here next week, please come back. Uh, oh, you can do the 